Okay, um, quick update. Um, I am not getting anything at all. We've got, uh, we, it was in inverter mode and then it, uh, it went and then, and then shut off. Um, the breakers are off all of them and um and the battery is off so nothing should come on here but um let's turn on the battery um let's see here battery connected Let's look at the voltage of the battery. Uh, can't get to the menu. Um, let's reset this breaker. And nothing. Battery is cold. It says, oh, I see a light, but but nothing. Uh, let's see if we can reset this battery. No, um, maybe I'm not doing this right. Let me turn off the breaker and then try to reset so let's see nothing let's turn off this connector um, Make sure it's disconnected. Let's try this again. Oh, I need to so reset. I'm not sure if that did it, but then turn this back on. Now hit the menu button. Nothing. Nothing. Hold down the menu button. Hmm. So nothing there. Um, come over here. All these breakers are off. These breakers are off. Let's see if I get anything. I turn on AC in and up here let's turn on power save nothing down here nothing um, let's see Loads. The fan comes on. The power save. Let's see that. Oh. Okay, so it was overloaded. So those. All those can't went back off. Um, hmm. Well, it seems like it was overloaded. All right, so now let's take a look at the battery again, because that's that's strange that the screen is not.
coming on at all. I'm not sure what happened here with this. But the inverter did come on, I guess. So let's try this again here. Let's try um, AC. Let's try AC out. I guess uh, AC in. Let's try AC in and turn on the all the loads. Sounds like it's on, but it shouldn't be on. Um, let's see. Power. Save. Okay. So there might have been like a safety, a safety delay in it turning on right again. Um, because now it's on, it's back on, but AC is abnormal. Okay, so let me check the breaker on the inside. Okay, so we're inside and it did trip out. So here's what we need to do. We need to flip this off and then flip it back on. All right. Um, my remote switch is off, so we're controlling from outside. All right, go, let's go back outside. Okay, all right, came back on, we're on line mode, but we don't want to be on line mode, we want to invert something, but it looks like I got too many loads, so, um, too much load, uh, I got to figure something out because I want to start the air conditioning, um, and then also, oh, the battery Wait, that battery's off. It says battery voltage 54.4. Uh, how is the battery voltage 54.4 if this is disconnected? This is off, the switch is off. That is strange. Okay, so it came back on when I turned the power on. Why is the alarm on? Where is the alarm on? Um, let me see what the voltage is. 54.89. Hmm. I wonder if I can reset the alarm. Oh, no. Okay, it reset it on its own. So, this is interesting, um, I had nothing and then things just start coming back on. So, um, okay, if you, <laughs> if you have one of these and you, you, you hit a, an overload and it goes out and it comes back, it's not a ghost, uh, I guess it, it's programmed to do that. Um, but that information is not in the manual. It's not in the manual. I wish the manual was a little more clear with that. Um, okay, so I didn't kill anything. Uh, although, it sure as hell sounded like it. But I don't want to be on line mode. I definitely don't want line mode. I want it to be on um, invert mode. And I got to see how I can do that because this is not cool at all. Not cool. Sun's going down. I don't have much power from the panels anymore. <clears throat> um, let's see how much we're getting from the panels. DC, 200. 
and we are getting seventy seventy seven point nine volts seventy can you see that seventy seven point nine volts um, seventy eight and it's causing so it, it dropped a little bit the sun is pretty low in the sky so that explains that because look where the sun is <laughs> way over there <laughs> but um we're still getting usable dc voltage from the mppt charge controller um uh i'm not feeling the the fact that i'm not really able to power my loads like i should be uh I'm going to try this one more time for you guys if I can see when it crashes. I'm going to, um, I'm going to signal a, an AC input issue. It sh let's see what happens. It switched to invert mode. It's on power save, so I could leave it there or I could turn the inverter like fully on. And so for a demonstration of the issue that I had earlier, I will turn the inverter on. There you go, it's too much. It's trying. 72%. But it's only, it's only showing 72. Yeah. It's not able to handle it. Um, so let me turn off the loads. And I will turn off this alarm. Turn this back on. Turn on the AC. I don't really want that AC on at all. Let me just turn off the AC. All right, so we're AC in, and then I'll, I'll try. Let me try one leg. See if I can get anything. Man, that's so scary. Um, let's see what the load is. 84% on this one leg, 93. So it's it's definitely really, really high. Yeah, it's still saying overload. It's still saying overload. Yeah. Um, so let me let me turn off the load here. So yeah, uh, not useful because it looks like I have too many things going on. Um, let me let me put it on power save. Put it on power save. Well, there you have it. Cannot handle it. It recovered. It recovered, but cannot. The Sun Gold Power 12K, um, the one with the photovoltaic um, MPPT charge controller, cannot handle uh, my loads. And uh, I got a standard three bedroom, two bath with a five ton um, air conditioning unit. And uh, so I'm at a crossroads right here. I I need something that's gonna work. Um, let me see if Sun Gold will 
if you're listening, Sun Gold. <laughs> Let me see if you will will um, uh, upgrade me to another inverter that should work. Maybe three times this size. And uh, and let's see. I don't know. Um, <laughs> Until next time. There's the, the green machine. That's Suburban back there. You, you guys, if you've been watching the channel. There goes the, uh, the Toyota Prius. The trash monster. The F-150. 04 F-150. And the Suburban. The, the, the workhorse of the family. Get the family around long distance idling for the baby suburban o3 suburban that's a beast um but let me know what you think about this um photovoltaic system look at the battery we'll wait for it to go back around but the battery is at uh 55 so the battery is charging you know um inverter mode the battery's charging from the solar cells um, let's see what the battery's actually doing well zero right now but we're at 55 it doesn't need to charge anymore i don't think um, so yeah um very very unfortunate um but something that i really need to take care of also need to take care of because Ants go crazy for electronics in the grass and um, in, when they're outside. And uh, yeah, they they hover around my solar panels too, which is real interesting. Like they just—it's like they, it, it messes up their their antenna and their their navigation, so they they get stuck in a pattern of they don't know where the heck to go. Um, anyway. All right, here, guys. Um, I will. I will talk to you later and continue this fight. I won the battle against the against the power company Talquin here in in Florida, and um, now I'm I'm losing. Uh, let's just let's let's call it like um, a little delay, because if I was rich, I could just throw some money at this thing, but. Um, that is not the case and i'm doing this uh, that's why i'm doing this on my own um so what i'm doing is getting a larger version this is the 12k i'm thinking about the 18 or 36k um 36 000 watts which means i gotta get more panels i'm out of here thanks for watching um stay tuned